Well, hey, everybody, this is Willie Lawson, and this is the Saxophone Factory. Oh, we appreciate you being here. We haven't done a video in, 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 in a minute. I've been working. I've been teaching. And um, and in teaching, I, I you know, I, I, I talk to my students about how long I've been I've been teaching. And, and some of you probably wondered, too. I started teaching privately in 1985. Uh, it's like 38 years ago. 30, 38 years ago. That's a long time. It really is a long time. And in 38 years, I picked up a few things. I picked up a few things about teaching and how I deliver instruction to students, especially on a one-on-one -on -one basis, um, whether the student is in band or in a community band or uh, is someone who wants somebody who wants to be a professional uh, at some point or someone who's just playing because they think the saxophone is cool and like, I, I, I want to play some. So, so how I teach and where I teach, we get all of those people all, all the time. Um, all, all those different desires all the time. So I want to talk to you about students, about you being a student. Now, I know a lot of you have tuned in to the channel and I appreciate it. I really do. Uh, we are almost to a thousand subscribers. We're, not, we're, no near, we're nowhere near getting monetized, unfortunately, because we don't have enough hours watched. But, you know, we have 800 and some odd subscribers to this channel, and I am, I am grateful. I am truly grateful. And, and, I, and, and, I, and I, want to, I want to increase that. So if you'll share this video and share some of the videos that have been useful to you, I would appreciate it. Now, this is something to students. So if you want to be a student, I've, I've always suggested that I not be the only teacher you have. If you have access to a teacher that can sit down next to you and look at your face to see how your mouth is doing, to look at your hands to make sure your hands are doing what they're supposed to be doing, um, to hear how your tonguing is, that's very, very important. Um, to hear your tone quality, that's very, very important. And to, to hear it close up, not to hear it through a, a computer speaker, but to hear it live. You need to be heard live by, by, by a, a real teacher. Okay. Now, I want to teach, first of all, the students something that teachers, that good teachers expect. Um, the number one thing is effort. Effort. You have to bring as much effort to the to, to the table as possible. As, as again, as a teacher who teaches um, students who are who are in school, like high school, middle school, or high school, um, people who teach adults who are in community bands. And people who teach teach adults that are you know just playing because they want to play, there are different effort availabilities. For instance, the fourteen year old who doesn't have a job and their parents are paying for lessons, they need to be giving given one hundred percent effort. They need to be given all the effort. They have the time. And they have the ability, you know, somebody else is paying for the lessons. They have it all. They don't have to work. They go to school seven and a half hours a day. And then there's, there's time to do what they need to do. So I expect those students to give all of the effort. Whether they're going to become professionals or not. Whether they're going to go on to college or not. All the effort because they have the opportunity. Now, I have some other, other students who are, who are adults, uh, some that play in community bands. I expect a goodly amount of effort from them because they are going into a band and I want them to, to do well in, in, you know, in the ensemble they're going into. My adult students who just want to play because it's fun to play the saxophone, frankly, to be honest with you, I don't really expect much effort at all, because frankly, what I what I've experienced, and if you're a teacher, um, let me know in the comments if, if you find this to be true. That a lot of those students 
The only time they play their saxophone is in their lesson. So it is challenging because you have to mix it up at a level, a playing level that doesn't really increase all that much week to week. So the first thing is effort. Please try. Please try to do what your teacher has asked you to do. Please. Okay. The second thing is that goes along with effort is please be prepared. If the instruction is to do lesson one and lesson two out of the Rubank Elementary Method for Saxophone, please have looked at, attempted, and or mastered lesson one and lesson two from the Rubank Elementary Method, please. That will go a long way. Now, your teacher may not use the Rubank like I do, and that's fine. Whatever they use is what they what has been working for them, and that's fine. But please don't think that you know better. And instead of doing what they ask you to do, you decided to do something else. I've had I've had students to do that. Well, I didn't work on this, like you like you asked me, but I did play this. Well, that usually gets you nowhere. Because the thing that the teacher wanted to accomplish, you didn't accomplish. The skill that they wanted you to learn, you didn't learn. So now you are another week behind in your development. Students, if you hire a teacher at the beginning of the hiring process, have a very real discussion. Please ask your teacher to be honest because you, what you want from a teacher more than anything is honesty. And sometimes blunt honesty, absolutely blunt honesty. I tell my students all the time, if it's not good, it's not good. I don't want you to have the wrong impression. I don't want you to get in your ear what's not good. I want you to get in your ear what's good. And so that way you have something to aim towards every time. If you're not tonguing, I'm telling you, you're not tonguing. And, and on, on, on the converse, if I tell you that it's getting better, then it's getting better. If I give my students a compliment, they really love it because they know that I, those are hard to come by. I can give you a lot of encouragement without giving you a compliment. I can cheer you on from the cheap seats without lying to you. And you want a teacher who is going to cheer you on, who's going to be your number one fan. It's also going to be your number one critic. But they're going to be super honest about it. And you, as a student, you have to be honest with your teacher. Be honest with your teacher. And be realistic. I'm going to tell you. If you come to me as a beginning saxophone student and you want to play, and, and, and you, you want to play saxophone because you love jazz and you just love jazz, you just love John Coltrane and Charlie Parker and uh, Lester Young, and, and, and you have all the recordings, and you know, but you know what? You've never put a reed on a mouthpiece. The reality is, and this is the reality, the stark reality, because the clock, time is real. You are not going to attain those levels. You're going to get to some level, if you're 65 years old, where you can enjoy you playing the saxophone. And that's really good. Because the saxophone is a lot of fun to play. Are you going? Are you going to be doing Coltrane transcriptions? Probably not. You can be doing Parker transcriptions. Probably not. Lester Young. Probably not. Ben Webster. Probably not. But that doesn't mean anything really, because at that point, are you enjoying playing the saxophone? Do you have an appreciation, a deeper appreciation, for what all those people can actually do? now that you've had some time to stand behind the horn and see what it's like. So when you, so when you come to hiring a teacher, it, it, you, they have to be honest 
and you have to be realistic. If you guys have any questions about uh, questions to ask in hiring a teacher, um, questions on how to be a good student, just write them in the comments. I'll get to them. Or anything else about your saxophone journey, just write in the comments. Uh, and I'll get to it, I promise. All right. And I'll see you again. Keep playing. Keep practicing.